So I'm, uh, I'm kind of a romantic, uh, like the hopeless romantic type. Like so much so, like last night I spent about five hours watching Dawson's Creek alone. <laughs> <laughs> I live tweeted the entire thing. You can follow along with the hashtag Dawson's tweets. Anyways, with that, I'll transition into my story, which isn't so much a traditional road trip story in the sense that a car is involved, but more of a road trip story in the sense that we will all together go on a journey through my love life. <laughs> and so we're going to start at the beginning, and obviously I'm, uh, I'm going to change the names of the young women in the story so as to protect their identities. So in seventh grade, I was dating Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't really a relationship in uh, the sense that we, like, talked to each other or... <laughs> like, touched each other. And we really just called each other boyfriend and girlfriend. And we talked on MSN Messenger, and we told each other that we loved each other. And it doesn't matter whether you're 12 or 50, but the first time you tell someone you love them is an exciting, thrilling, beautiful thing. And it's amazing. And uh, she dumped me <laughs> by email. <laughs> So we go a year forward, and I'm dating this, this other girl, and this relationship is really exciting because I have a unibrow and a mustache, and she wants to make out with me. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> we move forward another year, and now I'm a freshman in high school. Um, and I should say this, I have a twin brother. His name is Jesse. Um, I'm not protecting his name simply because it's an important plot element. <laughs> He was madly in love with his ex-girlfriend, and I was friends with his ex-girlfriend, and we decided to go to prom together. And that's not really relevant to the entire story, but <laughs> I just really like to say that I went out with Jesse's girl. And that, that song got, got really awkward at our house. <laughs> like fast forward, and I'm a junior in high school, and I'm dating this girl, and I have my first real sexual encounter. It's on a swing by a pond at night. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> but it's also amazing and beautiful at the same time. Move forward one more year, I'm a senior and I'm dating Drew Barrymore. <laughs> and she's not, out, she's not allowed out past nine o'clock. <laughs> and that relationship just, it just kind of pitters out. Nothing really special there. And I, obviously, I skipped a few in the middle because of time. But now I move on to college, and I'm a freshman in college, and I meet this girl, and she is beautiful and kind and pure, and in the five months that we're together, we only kiss three times, but all of them are magical. <laughs> Fast forward one year, and despite, um, despite all the evidence that Friends with Benefits never works out, I still find myself in one of these relationships, and... Of course, it doesn't work out, and we both get hurt. Fast forward one more year, I'm a junior in college, and I'm in love with a girl who's madly in love with me, but I know that she uh, isn't the one, and uh, there's no way that she'll ever understand that, and she got hurt. Fast forward one more year, I'm a senior in college, and I have fallen madly in love with a girl who is sexy and fun and dangerous. Uh, and we are best friends and we do all these exciting things together, but she is sexy and fun and dangerous. 
Uh, so eventually she gets bored. And this time, I get hurt. And four months later, I am alone on a Friday night watching Dawson's Creek by myself. <laughs> and I think the takeaway from all this, looking back at my life, is I've had so many different experiences and relationships. And first kisses are always exciting and thrilling and fun. And first love is the same way. But no matter how many experiences you have or relationships you've been in, heartbreak still hurts. And and I think it's time to move on. And um, ladies, I'm on Tinder. <laughs> That, that's going to be the end. <laughs>